my gosh, I don't even know where to start, but let's start with a Mexican adventure that's going to include a huge haul at the end of everything that I bought in this beautiful, colorful, wonderful country. my mom and I'm just getting us some coffee because it is like super super early in the morning. So we have landed in Puerto Vallarta. That's our basic accommodations. So my mom and I have arrived in Chapala um, and slash Ahihi and we just had a bite to eat and it's Monday so there's really no thrift stores open just um, kind of like a consignment store. It's where I bought my furniture for my place last year and of course there's always tomorrow morning and then on our way back too. Right now, the dollar to the peso is not nearly as strong as it was even a year ago when it was running at about 20 pesos per dollar. Right now, it's about 16 to 17 pesos per dollar, which makes it much more difficult to convert in your head. So like that little walnut pewter container at 150, well, typically I would just say it'd be 750, but now what? I think it's probably about eight dollars and fifty cents so not really totally a steal even in Mexico so cute. I love all the color. Look at this wall. It's this beautiful fuchsia pink. And it's really, really clean and tidy. So I'm hoping our room is going to be delightful. This room is super cute. It's painted kind of this peach color. Then it's got like art up there. It's very clean. So we're in Ahihik today looking for some breakfast and I'm showing my mom the town.
been a long travel day. We have finally arrived in San Miguel Valiente, which is my favorite town in Mexico. It's kind of like the Disneyland version of <laughs> Mexico, but I still love it. It's really, really pretty. So we just arrived at our hotel. It's called Monta Verde and it is a budget hotel, but it is really nice too. Just like the one in Chapala was. Look at that, it's so nice. It's very tidy. So the room is really nice too. So it even has this like really sweet little Juliet, Juliet um, balcony overlooking the street and it's about eight blocks from downtown where all the action is which is just far enough away so that we don't have to hear all the music and the church bells at night and it has the soft white light <laughs> on in the lamp which is really important to me because I can't stand those blue LED lights. So we've had our breakfast and now we're gonna head to the artisan market. It's only about eight minutes away. So I'm in front of the church and honestly it's beautiful during the day but it's the most beautiful during sunset because it looks so pink and pretty like a cake. So I made an executive decision to drive out um, I think it's like six miles to go to uh, one of my favorite places to eat called Nirvana. I showcased it in my last San Miguel Allende video, but it's just this beautiful, serene, mellow. I mean, it's called Nirvana for a reason.
I just loaded my car with some of the stuff that I have bought. So I just want to show it to you. I don't have a tripod or even a camera holder, but I'm going to do my very best. So I bought this in Chipola. I think it's just so cool. It looks really vintage. I don't know how old it is. It is this wood and leather box. But what I love is it's got these little hearts on the top. It's all studded and it's like padded. It's really cool. Let's see if I could open it. That's what it looks like on the inside. I don't know how old it is, but I have never seen anything like this here. So, I, and I cannot remember what I paid for it. I want to say like maybe $8. It is heavy. So I thought twice about buying it, but I went ahead and did because I thought it was that cool. I also got this little food dog at that store. It wasn't very much. I want to say, gosh, it was maybe like couple dollars and it's funny because I had picked up a pair identical to this but even smaller they only had the one but food dogs I do really really well with them so whenever I can find food dogs I'll pick them up even though they're not Mexican and I cannot tell if this is an older one or not but absolutely love this turquoise color and then yesterday I went to an actual shop where they paint these tin hearts. And so I really want the wooden hearts with the milagros with the little charms on them. They're, um, they're really super cool, but man, they have gotten so expensive. Um, so I got a bunch of those and a bunch of these in different colors. Like here's a yellow and purple one and a turquoise and pink one, a yellow crackle with green. Here's another one with the pink heart and another one with a turquoise heart, a white heart. Here's one with a purple heart and gosh, and of course, I got extra red hearts. And then this one is a black heart. <laughs> they're just, they're really fun. And you can't really find these anywhere except for this area. At least I don't see them elsewhere. And they were not cheap. Um, so I'm going to price these at like probably $35, $40. And they take up a lot of luggage space as well. Um, and then these ones will probably be like um, $25 to $30. So I'm so excited about these ones. Um, this particular find, I got, I think I got five or six of them. I was, uh, I had just put my mom in an Uber. She wanted to get back. Her knee was hurting. We were at the artisan market and I was heading towards town, towards this other vintage store I know of. And I ran across this little shop and I've been in there before, but look what I found there. This one isn't in the best shape, but my gosh, look at the graphics. Dr. Brown. I have never even heard of that. The joy of the festival, it says. Look at that. So that's got some age to it. Barolitos. No, those I'm familiar with. That's what we used to drink when we were little. And then there's this one that's also got some really cool graphics. Tequila Sousa. Oh my gosh, look at that. Anyways, I did pay up for these. They're super heavy, but I can't find these in the States. Um, and then I got a bunch of these. These are those little laser cut um, scented wood coasters. And I've had these um, before. I bought them from the same little shop. I never see them anywhere else around in Mexico, but they're, they're very cool. And they're really, really good sellers for me back in the States. And I typically sell these, gosh, I'm going to say for like $5 a piece, but they're, they're cool to like, you know, put on a desk, 
um, as just a, um, a coaster. And they're very decorative and they're scented. They have this really nice natural wood scent. And then the other items I got are these pewter crosses. So I got a good deal on these. So typically I won't buy pewter, but these were a good deal. So I picked them up and these will probably, I'm gonna say go online, the majority of these. And I will probably sell them for like $30 a piece. But very, very pretty. And then this one. Anyways, really nice. Religious iconography actually sells really well. And then I'm sure you saw this. It's a Diego Rivera replica of the lily seller, the flower seller, and that's going in my house. And then there's this one. That's really cool. Kind of a, gosh, I can't remember what is what that is, what kind of cross that is. I want to say Celtic, but I'm not totally positive. So we've arrived in San Juan del Rio where my aunt lives and we're at our home exchange. And that was, they're such a nice couple, the owners of this house and the house is really roomy. It's got two floors and four bedrooms and three bathrooms. And it's just got everything that we could possibly want, mm -hmm. including a washer and dryer, which is really important to my mom. And now we're gonna go <laughs> surprise my aunt. Tiny, tiny little chapel. <laughs> We're basically just, this is kind of an industrial city. And I have never been here I before. Yeah. yeah, industrial area. So we're in a town called Bissaron with a V. Anyways, they specialize in marble here. My uncle wanted to bring me. And for a minute, I thought I'm only going to be able to buy a few things because marble is very heavy. And I definitely want to bring some mushroom lamps back. I only found one last year and it sold before it ever hit the floor. And so there's a ton here, but I can't buy, I can't bring a ton of them back. But my idea is that I want to have a little stall <laughs> in my local market back in my, at my house in the, my little town of Atikama. They have the Gringo Sunday Market and I think I'm going to sell some marble items. I'm excited.
have left San Juan del Rio and we just passed San Miguel and it makes me sad because I love San Miguel and I would have loved to have like stopped there. But we are on our way to Guanajuato, which is really another great city and my mom and I are just talking about how there's so much history there. A lot of famous people came from Guanajuato. It's a big mining area and so there's a lot of mining, old mining towns there. Um, anyways, and it's a beautiful, beautiful city. So I can't wait to do some filming there. So this is a beautiful, historic Guanajuato. This is a very, very Mexican city. Unlike San Miguel de Allende that has a very strong American and Canadian. <laughs> well, thank you, Mom. You just interrupted my video. Anyways, there are a few Americans here, but you don't see as many here as you do in San Miguel, even though they're not very far from each other. Um, but, you know, San Miguel is a was considered an artist colony that was actually established by an American. So there's a ton of um, influential things that happened due to Americans and Canadians, where uh, Guanajuato is very much a Mexican town. this place is. It's like staying in a castle. And it was only like $48. These cool ceilings. been one of my favorite little plazas. Well, one of them, because there's several here. It's just a nice, quiet little, I'm gonna play music. So many churches. found the best way to learn about a city is to get lost in it and then just to make sure you either have uber handy or a taxi driver handy or google maps handy um, because they can always get you back to where you need to be but that is the best way to really learn about a city now this city not only is it up at over 6,000 feet, which is tough for somebody like me who lives on the coast, but it's also really, really hilly. <laughs> so I'm getting my exercise in. And it's funny because I made my mom walk and I just said, walk as far as you can and then we'll stop. So I planted her in the plaza and I'll be back for her in a little while. So this video has gotten super long, so I will see you in part two the next time.